Namaste. Today, I'm going to teach you different options, different variations for practicing crow with blocks, with the straps, and with the walls. Um, before any practice, it's good to have a wood warm up. So I will suggest a few rounds of sun salutations will be good enough for this practice. Okay. We're going to start uh, activating core in an avasana position. Take one block in between your thighs, fingertips on the floor, stretch your back first. Take a long deep breath, inhale, Navasana. Take five to ten counts in Navasana. Make sure your arms are relaxed, your legs are relaxed, but your core is so strong. Three more breath. Now keep your knees together, imagine you continue half in the prop. And then squeeze the prop with the base of your hands. Spread your fingers. Five counts. Relax your neck. Three. Two more. One. Continue in the Vasana position. Bring your prop behind your thighs. Inhale. Few rounds of Karanka. Two more. And up. Good. Bring your thighs parallel to the floor, press the prop on top, inhale, low Navasana, hold for three, two, one, up, arms up overhead, three, two, one, just five seconds, this, low Navasana, shoulders up, three, two, one, up, arms up, hold for three, two, one, two more reps. Encore. Make sure your back is on the floor on your low Navasana. Chest up. Three, two, one. Low Navasana. If this is too much for you, keep your hands on the floor or bend your knees. Three, two, one. Inhale. Up. And one more. Strong core. Belly in. Shoulders up. Inhale. Up. Exhale and release. Good. We're going to come to all fours position. Continue warming up your wrist. Fingers pointing the side. Just walk side to side a couple of reps. Same thing, fingers pointing your knees. And then walk back and forth a couple of reps. Very good. Shake your wrist. Okay. The first position that we're going to practice, it's crow using two props, two blocks. So we're going to place props shoulder distance. So we're going to start from a kneeling position. Set up your hands behind your prop. Okay. So could be a little bit back but not in front and not by the side, okay? Check if your props are shoulder distance. Now pick up your knees off the ground and walk your knees forward. So this is your first position. Make sure your head is relaxed, elbows in. Count five breaths. Always keeping your belly in. Uni Anabanda. Three, two, one. Knees on the floor. In between poses, move your wrists. Rotate your wrists one direction and then the other way around. Okay. Now, for this second set, we're going to bring one knee onto the tricep. Shoulders on props. Walk your knees forward. Bring one knee to the tricep. Now push your knee against the tricep for bringing the opposite knee up. Point your toes, heels towards your butt cheek. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. Move your wrist side to side. Shake your head. Shake your wrist. 
while we are in this position, just make sure that you're squeezing your elbows in so you have your chaturanga arms, 90 degree angle on the back of your elbows. Okay. Now for the following one, either you keep both knees on your triceps or you're gonna try to bring one knee to the chest. Let's see. Shoulders on top. Walk forward first, one knee at a time. Push your knee against the armpit and bring in the other one. Okay. Couple of breath here. Try to see if you can bring one knee to the chest. Keep your heel towards your buttocks. And then the other one. Squeeze your elbows in. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. Off side to side. Okay. So in any part of the poses or in any step, you stop wherever you feel comfortable to hold more than five breaths, okay? So for the last one, the last drill of this, I'm gonna do it sideways. You're gonna try to bring your knees to the chest. Don't bring your legs up. Just keep your knees closer to the chest. It's a lot for your core. So starting from the same position, knees down. Walk your feet forward. One knee at a time. Heels up towards your butt cheek. Try to see if you can bring both knees to the center. No, up. Keep your knees closer to the chest. Exhale, release. Actually, it's a lot of core work. Move your wrist side to side. So these are the different progressions that you can practice by yourself with your props. Try to hold, like I said, at least five breaths before moving on to the second one. If you stop with one knee to the chest, so that is gonna be your homework. Try to hold at least more than five breaths, maybe one minute each size. And if you can bring both knees to the chest, then try to hold at least one minute. Good. After this drill with two props, so we're gonna take one prop for at the top of your mat, and we're gonna step on the other one. We're going to measure first before resting. We're going to place, not the crown of the head, it's just the beginning of your forehead on the prop. Bring your knees to your armpits or triceps as high as you can. Spread your fingers, bring your heels up. Back and forth, back and forth. See if you can reach the prop and adjust. The last one, rest forehead on the prop. Push your forehead against the prop. Don't rest your shoulders. Push your shoulders up and try to see if you can bring one foot up or maybe both of them. Close your fingers. Round your upper back. Three, two, one. Either stay here or see if you can bring your head up. Oop, and down. Head up. Oop, and down. Until you can hold your head up for more than five breaths. Move your wrists in between poses. Three, two, one. Okay. Last one. We're going to take two props. We're going to step on them. Bring your knees higher. Actually, it's easier because you're stepping on two props, right? Shift the body weight forward as much as you can, as much as you can, and bring one foot up, only one foot. Exhale, release. Let's do the other one. Shift the body weight forward, belly in, strong core. Two, one, good. Now, last one, spread your fingers. Shift the body weight forward, heels up first, heels up first. Shift the body weight forward more. Inhale, bring your feet up. Exhale, release. Good. Move your wrist. Figure eight. All the way around. Shake, shake, shake. Good. Now for the next one, the next drill, we're going to practice with the strap. Measure the strap shoulder distance. Good. 
I'm gonna take your props at the top of your mat, at the top of my mini mat. Good. Okay. okay. I'm gonna place the strap. above the elbows and just make sure that the the buckle is not touching your skin okay now with this drill while you're lifting your feet off the floor you're gonna try to pull the strap up high so keep the tension on your shoulders and your core by pulling the strap up high Set your hands on your props. Walk your feet forward and bring your heels as high as you can. Now continue walk your feet forward. Bring your knees to the armpits. Shift the body weight forward. Pull the strap apart. That's it for now. Shift the body weight forward. Pull the strap apart. Last three. Pull the strap apart. Keep your toes on the floor. One last. Pull the strap apart. Last one. And pull the strap apart. Good. Now you're going to bring the top the strap lower below your elbows. A little wider than your shoulders. Okay. For this drill, you're going to rest your knees on the top of the prop. So if I do it from a sitting position, it will look like this. Spread your fingers, shift the body way forward, bring your knees to the center so your knees are on the top of your strap. One, two, three. Shift the body way forward, push, 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 three, two, one. So if I show you from a sitting position, it looks something like this. Okay, this is actually a really good drill for uh, strengthening your core for bakasana and also for lolasana or tolasana. Okay, after you practice a few of these drills, don't kid yourself, you know. Try to pick up one, two, three, and try to alternate it when you're practicing at home. Okay, and the last one, we're gonna try to practice crow without props. Uh, for the first few times that you're practicing by yourself, maybe you're not gonna fly, but that's okay, okay? The more you practice with good alignment and technique, one day will come. So first, spread your fingers, bring your heels as high as you can, walk your feet forward, and open up your knees until your knees rest on your triceps. Claw your fingers, shift the body weight forward as much as you can, so bring your chest forward. Look forward, one foot, maybe both of them up at the same time. Keep bending your elbows a little, so keep your chest around your arms. Make sure your body is small, so bring your heels towards your buttocks. If your body is tall, if your legs are loose, is heavier to fly, especially for those of you who are tall. So make sure your heels are really, really closer to your body so you make yourself like a little tiny, small ball. Um, one last drill. Hopefully you can see me here on the, block, on the wall. So you're going to bring, you can try with or without blocks. You're going to rest the crown of the head on the wall. Rest the crown of the head on the wall, try to bring one leg and then the other leg up. Rest, so make sure the wall is stable and we hold your body weight. Rest the crown of the head first. Rest, push the crown of the head against the wall and then mindfully and feel closer to the wall. Yeah. Bring the opposite leg up. I'm still too close to the wall. 
you have to try different kinds until you find the perfect distance. Of your race, I'm just a little bit scared of practicing with that uh, glass. So yes, make sure that it's fixed and stable. I hope you this video helps you with your crow practice. Uh, sh share with me your thoughts and please let me know what you want to see in this video next time. Have a good practice. Namaste. Take care.